Hello, my name is Ed Crack. I'm with Black Box, the Senior Solutions Architect. I'm here to talk about a case study we did with Shannon Brewing, simplifying their video with uh, SDVOE distribution. So Shannon Brewery Company is a small microbrewery with a tap room in Keller, Texas. They've been making great craft beer for years. And uh, they came to Black Box because they had issues with their video distribution system for their entertainment for their customers. We started off with a list of problems. Their Wi-Fi was not enough in terms of bandwidth. It was just simply creating problems for all their streaming videos across the Wi-Fi network. All their TV sets were fired up with, that was a pun, fired up with fire sticks. So they were using Wi-Fi to drive video to all their screens for all their entertainment for their customers. The tap room point of sale system was also on the Wi-Fi network. So that's a lot of different things using Wi-Fi to get something done and it created problems. The customers also tried to use the Wi-Fi. Again, so many different things leveraging Wi-Fi to get different solutions done. And on top of that, every TV had a remote. There was a stack of remotes, different brands and so on, and it had a big problem for dealing with uh, you know, turning things on, finding content and so on. So the challenges that they ran into is they needed to manage the TVs in a better way because having multiple TVs with different brands and different remotes just created hassles for the employees who were just trying to keep the customers happy. They also needed to manage guest requests in terms of they wanted to watch a particular program, they wanted to watch a particular TV, uh, football game or whatever, and they had to find a, they had to find the remote, they had to find the, the, uh, the content as well. They also liked to show PowerPoint presentations uh, for special meetings for customers. They had a tap room for private meetings and so on, and running a PowerPoint presentation was always just a, a major hassle to get set up. Programming request, again, back to what is playing on an individual TV, it was always a hassle to try to get things going for people. And then the private party request. Shannon Brewing would do wedding receptions. They would do private parties and they would have different content playing on different TVs. And again, just trying to put everything together created a big hassle for them. And of course, they wanted to improve their customer's Wi-Fi experience. The idea of a customer using Wi-Fi in a tap room is that they want to be able to sit at their table, couples not talking to each other, but they're on their phones, and they want to be able to do things on their phones. And the concept there is they want to keep them in their seat, meaning they're going to continue to order more beer, and it's all about revenue for them. And if they didn't have a decent Wi-Fi experience, they were not going to stick around. As far as the employees were concerned, they had to learn the different TVs, they had to learn the different interfaces for the remotes and so on and so forth, and they had turnover from employees because they couldn't get things going well just for the customers. And then lastly, you needed to manage the different resources in terms of programming content. Uh, they wanted to be able to have a particular game on a particular TV at a particular time, and again, it was very difficult to manage. So here's a shot of what it looked like before. Very basic TVs uh, over the tap room bar. They had used an untapped app to, d to display their, their beer menu and what's, what's going on. Uh, they had just TVs over the, the cooler and in the, the beer garden, a single TV. I mean, if you look at that TV in the beer garden, uh, if you're not at that, that one table, you're not seeing much. Well, we took care of that. We'll talk about that in the next couple of slides. So our solutions for Shannon Brewing was uh, we took all the video sources and we put them in a rack in the office. So essentially, we got rid of all those fire uh, TV sticks that were streaming over the Wi-Fi. And all of those video sources were now not in the air. They were connected directly to the network uh, and then connected directly to the internet for their source. We used Fire TV Cubes because there is a, a, a streaming service, a streaming device that actually has a physical hardwired internet connection. So again, we took the Fire TVs off the Wi-Fi. So that freed up a lot of bandwidth. Laptops. We have a SDVOE transmitter in the, the speakeasy that you can actually plug in a laptop. So 
for if there are meetings and so on, you, you come in, you can plug your laptop in, and you can have a PowerPoint presentation without any issues, and private meetings were working great. We had a Mac Mini for dual video, and this Mac Mini is what drove the untapped uh, menu across uh, behind the bar. It also had a second video output, so it could divide and present videos such as the day of brewing that was, that was played back at high speed. You could actually see an entire brewing day at high speed. Uh, and again, it was across the, the, the video in the back, or could, the monitor in the back, or any monitor or TV in the, the whole business. We added a digital signage player. And the digital signage player from Black Box is our iCompel series. Very cool device, 15 different pieces of real estate. And we put that back in the rack as well, because we connected it to an SDVOE uh, encoder, our MCX encoders. And this able to take that single player, and it can also spit out digital signage on any TV within the entire building, as well as outside. Again, we're using SDVOE, uh, this, this new IP-based AV solution, and Shannon calls it the magic because it solved all of his problems. We combined all of this with a unified control system using our control bridge touch panel, which we'll give you a shot of that in a second here. But behind the bar, the employees were able to drive any source to any monitor, whether it was a single monitor or a two-by-two. Two. Here's a, uh, a quick uh, overview of the solution. On the left, you have all of the sources, and some of them are multiple sources, whether it's a laptop, um, whether it's a, a Fire TV stick, whether it's a, a digital signage player. They actually liked the system so much they added another source and connected it to an Apple TV. Now, these are simple SDVOE encoders running on a 10 gigabit network, and they come across to a, a Netgear 4300 series switch. And on the right, you have destinations. We actually have two two by two walls. These are four monitors, and each monitor is, has its own decoder behind it. But there's two sets of those. And the rest, we have another six different monitors uh, with an SDVOE decoder. That's our MCX line. And they simply are connected again to a 10 gigabit network. Down below, we have our particular controller, which is a, a, a great way to sit there and set up your solution. It has templates for all sorts of different sizes and different designs for your video walls. Uh, it's actually controlled by our control bridge, a PoE, that's power over Ethernet uh, solution, that it sits behind the bar. It doesn't even need a power supply. It just needed a network connection. And through that, the person behind the bar can control every TV throughout the entire tap room. So to give you an idea here, what we have is the, the quad monitors, the two by two walls inside over the cooler, outside the beer garden, and also monitors all over the, uh, the system. One thing about this after the redesign is they launched this during a very important football game. And it, all I can say is that it was a super game. They had the super game on every TV throughout the entire building through the tap room, through the speakeasy, and outside in a, a two by two wall. The important thing to know about this is that they were using the audio from the TV sets. They did not have a DSP, they did not have a special audio system. The beautiful thing is that the audio was perfect. It was synced to the source. So the, the particular uh, Fire TV Cube that was driving the game the audio was the same whether you're in one end of the building or the other building. You could walk completely through and it was in sync. There's not a single echo, even going outside to watch the game. It was perfect audio. And that's all due to SDVOE's particular protocol to be able to sync on a single source. Here's a picture of our unified control panel. We have the design here where you've got the four different monitors. You have the ability to pick a source and then you can pick a destination essentially. So your sources could be any of the items in between and you've got your where you want it to go, outside, above bar, speakeasy, so on. And then you can decide what you want, an individual monitor or do you want a two by two wall? 
So the two by two wall takes a single source and the SDVOE protocol manages to break it up into four different quadrants. So it's shown perfectly as a single source. So in summary, the problems we solved using our black box MCX solution, which is an SDVOE system, the point of sale system now is flawlessly. They were losing money because they couldn't ring up sales because the Wi-Fi was impacting it. They'd have to reboot it just to get logged back in. And that created a problem in terms of people getting their beers quickly so they could come back and get another beer quickly. The customer Wi-Fi system was vastly improved and that made customers happy so they could sit at the tables and look at their phones and look at their games or whatever without any issue. This particular uh, brewery had a tough, for Wi-Fi, or not Wi-Fi, but a tough uh, cell service for my particular phone, but on the Wi-Fi with a new system, it worked great. Now the employees were happy because they can easily manage the TVs. They're all the same TVs, they use a single remote, and uh, they all can be turned off easily and turned on. They can also manage the video content. If you remember the, the touch panel, they can sit there and use the uh, Amazon Fire Cube remote, which is an RF remote, so it's, it's, it's using radio frequency. It doesn't have to have line of sight. The Fire Cubes are in the back office in a rack, but they're able to quickly select a content for a particular TV. No hassles. Audio for special events is in sync, like the, that particular super game that we talked about. That audio is perfectly, so if they want to play March Madness, they can have multiple games going on, or they could have a single game, and the audio is always going to be in perfect sync to the particular source. Special events. With the magic of SDBOE, special events are now special because it just works for them. They can have whatever they want, whether it's a wedding with a slideshow of pictures of, of the couple in their early days. The point is, is that it's something that they can offer their customers and bring in more customers. The beer menu is now easily updated and can be displayed anywhere without any, any hassles. And the 4K iCompel digital signage player is something else that also can be displayed anywhere, talking about any special event or anything else that's going on at the Shannon Brewery. So that kind of wraps up what we have here for the special case study for Shannon Brewing and SDBOE, leveraging the black box MCX solution. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, that wraps it up for me. I must have done a great job, no questions. Thank you. Thank you.